there were also some other classes that have been slightly modified. They were so at a lesser extent, it wasn't a complete revamp, but you had made some slight modifications. So there were five other classes that were slightly modified, and let's have a look at them. Knowing very well is the objective for the upcoming uh, updates, we have the Eka and Sadi, who will see a similar level of revamp, like we've talked now about the Fekka and the Fogonaut today. So, and it's confirmed, it is happening. Don't worry about it, Liak, it's happening. <laughs> because it was important to precise because if you don't see your class here it doesn't mean that it's not going to get changed so there are five other classes that will be slightly modified for this very update so we can start with the sacri yeah sure 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 why not let's go so the sack is changed the main change is the placement of the spells we've made some modifications towards that in the past but what which which will allow us to specialize more towards being a tank or being more of a damage so you will have one spell of regen and two damage or two regen one damage and you can make the combinations you want depending on what type of sack you want to play so the regen spell uh, 3 ap will have a damage spell 3 AP against it, so that will be the variance. So we've changed some variance, some spells slightly. We've also modified the Berserker state, which is the ultimate spell that Sakri has to deal damage. What we've done is we've lowered the percentage damage base from 13 to 10, but we've added an untackleable state, so that means unlockable state, which will enhance your ability to move around and then deal damage. Ah, so you spend less AP on movements and you can focus more on damage and we've also reduced HP and the AP recovery will happen during the deactivation of the spell, that's when you get it back I think. So some little modifications like this on the Sakri, but we're trying to enhance the tank aspect of Sakri. So you get to choose however you want to play your sack. More damage, more tank, and you, you get to improve. So you can have the choice between, between this and that, uh, and some enhancement and bettering on Berserker, and also some strength spell, but I won't tell you any more than that. Also, the f the, the, the rogue, what, what's that all about? So, the modifications were slight and faint. So, these are the range of spells. So, uh, some AP based will be changed. So, w w we've talked about the spell where he uses a gun that used to be AoE. So now, it is single target, removes MP and more modifiable range. And there will be some new changes that some people might not like, but they will increase the mobility of the rogue. So stay tuned for that, it will come immediately after this. Some changes will be also really, really nice. So, little spells like uh, Muske and Shrapnel, we will change some of their range and things like that. Little uh, spells to AP based. And what else have we got? I shouldn't be telling you this, I think. Yeah, I've got nothing. You say what you want. It's not a big deal for me. <laughs> should I be saying? Now he's debating whether he should tell us this or not. There will be data. Oh, no, he's trying to remember. There won't be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Of course, there is one big modification. So the rules move. Um, just, just like how you use it now on a bomb to swap places with it, to create placement or run away or bring something into the middle of the map. Now you can use that on allies so that the rogue has a better protection ability towards its allies. You can shield them somewhere behind the wall, swap places with them. You can move things in the map that isn't just your own summons. You can control your allies as well. This is really cool. And you can also interloop that, well, I don't know what the spell is in English, but you can swap places with the uh, ally. It, it doesn't... It doesn't put gravity state and it adds a dimension of team play for the rogue that it was missing because it mostly interacted with its own summons and bombs. It's not direct protection, but you can use it towards that effect. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can hide an ally behind the wall or you can shoot shell them but you're using a mega cooldown so we'll let you investigate this but all pretty much all of the other modifications we haven't mentioned are about movement and mobility of the class and next is the heliotrope <laughs> so we have brought some uh, utility utility spells like hail healing spells the amount of ap and the, the heal values uh, slightly up slightly down depending on the spell so we're thinking about deflagration 
I'm just going to translate them exactly as he said them because I have no idea what the name of the spells for the early are, given I've never played it. <laughs> so, def con confl deflagration. We've also added a little mechanic that is, uh, in essence, to send something at zero AP, which you can put stuff on yourself. So you can either cast the spell on you, or you can lock throw it on yourself via the portal that will unlock new functionalities on the class but I'm not gonna tell you I'm gonna leave this su surprise we have also nerfed sermon uh, in terms of damage so it hits less affliction as well has been reduced in terms of damage so the spells that just hit too much in uh, water and agility um, elements so just we we'll just nerf them a bit and we've added some modifications, slight modifications that for the Eliotrope, uh, a, li a little novelty that I've told you about, but I won't, I won't tell you anymore. So you can, if the mechanic and the novelty works really well and turns out to be popular, we'll do more with it. But in any way, anyway, uh, there's the Echo Flip as well. We have expect, we have been expecting to have a mega modifications on it, but we've realized that there were some modifications that could be brought about now. We didn't need to wait for a big revamp. So what have you done? So Eka, in essence, or things that we have been thinking for a while now, why not just employ them right now instead of just waiting for them to happen? Uh, as we do usually, you start doing big things or you have to shelve them. You either do them now or you shelve them for some time in the future. So we thought, why not be in the logic of the complete revamp? Why don't we just bring about some interesting changes right now before the big revamp? So think of them as little enhancements or betterments of spells that were five become four, the damage base and things. We remove minimum range, especially on the air way that had uh, what is toupe? So there is a an agility spell on on the echo flip that had dead cells in front of you essentially. You couldn't cast it immediately in front of you. So it has a minimum cast uh, range that will be completely removed. But with every modification they brought about, I'm not entirely sure uh, Artagon, really sorry because uh, I don't play Echo Flip as well. Uh, so in essence, they will uh, decrease the AP based of the big spells 5 AP and they will rewrite the damage to be balanced and they will remove minimum spell uh, range so you can use your spells pretty much like any other class now. <laughs> and there is a particular agility spell that he mentioned called Tupe that will benefit from it. I don't know what it is, somebody can possibly translate. I have seen the Volca last video while well, everybody's born. He is uh, soloing with the rogue, the four horsemen, before they nerf them again. <laughs> uh, yes, top cash will be changed as well, but he will talk about it now. It's nerf. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So Artagun got it right first go. So we're not adding new effects, but it's just the conditions of casting things to make them more fluid, to decrease things from 5 AP. And there is one really big modification, something that will really interest you, which is recop. You can crit and... <clears throat> Should I be saying? And that's it. No, 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 hold on. There, there's something else. Recap can crit. And we have completely shifted the turns instead of damaging one, two or three turns. Now it's either immediately one or two turns. It's more immediate and it can crit. So recop is back, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is a test. We will see how it goes. If it works, we will keep it. Otherwise, we reserve the right to. But everything else will remain pretty much the same until uh, if we see that these changes are quite cool, we will keep them going into the revamp. Otherwise, we will uh, we also have a little nerf on uh, contre coup, contre coup, contre coup. Uh, something that puts a malice. What is contre coup? That puts 15% malice on the next fight instead of 10%. I don't know what that spell is. So we try to keep some balance with little nerfs. So we're just, it's just preparatory, preparatory work for the big revamp. So it's like a first phase of modifications that will. Uh, yeah, aside from recop that will be completely changed. Everything else is slight modification. And just to end, let's go with the crop. So crop has had the right, just like everything else, to sum up and some nerfs. Especially with the devouring spell, which we found was completely broken. It goes from three to two maximum throws. So you have uh, more decisions to make at the level of choosing who do you cast it on. We will better this aspect. We have nerfed others, especially... 
hold on, I need to focus now because this is my class and I'm starting to tire of it. <laughs> so the Devouring spell is going from... Uh, thank you, DVN. Double hydrating come in. Right. So Devouring is going from three to two. Our class. <laughs> Our class, comrade. Our our comrade Golden. <laughs> So you have some decisions to make with your Devouring spell, which is powerful. They didn't nerf it, but they've reduced the max cast. We have a better some spell, nerfed some. We are also testing some things on s utility spells, like uh, Vendetta and... Uh, what is it called? Represai? What's Represai? Yeah, the minus MP spell. If you receive damage, you can lose up to six. Reprisal! Beautiful! I don't need to log my crap. So they're testing something on utility spells like Vendetta, Reprisal, especially. Um, there will be some modifications in this way. So over in the long term, there will be some other modifications on the crowd, on the utility spells. We're also thinking about trying to have a default uh, beacon and a default uh, buff. But this is what we're thinking at the time, for the timing. Now for the crowd. A little bit of no nerfs, a little bit of ups. They did not mention yet anything about changing the buffs uh, so that you have to choose between them and choose between the beacons. I'm glad so far. They might say it now, but so far, so good. <laughs> it's not easy. It is really not easy to balance the crowd out of all classes, but so far, we are doing so good. We have found a sort of good balance where it's it's used more often, and I think I can attest to that. I've seen a lot more crowds in... Uh, I've seen a lot more cross in the World Cup and big competitions than I've ever seen crop played in my entire life. Go back 20 seconds, alright. There will be other modifications on the crop, on the utility spells. We're thinking to try to have one beacon by default and a spell of buff, a buff spelt by default. What does that mean? One beacon by default, one buff spell by default. This is what we're thinking about at the time. What are you getting from this? Does that mean there will be variants of each other or? We already have Lark Mirror, yeah. That's some good point, Pingy. There are, uh, the cry is not perfectly good. It's good in 3v3. It holds its ground in 1v1, but it's still not there. Oh, uh, is that what you think, Golden? Holy shit. What about, what about what they said made you think that? Because we are forced to take, we are already forced to take one beacon in a way, you have Vendetta and Lark Mirror. I don't know. We don't need to lose buff, we have Lark Mirror. <laughs> That's right, Eslix. <laughs> Never gonna be balanced, yeah. They don't try and balance for 1v1, they try to make it bearable, they balance for 3v3 mainly. So, on the crop, a little bit of nerfs, a little bit of up. So, decidedly, this class is really not easy to get right so we are making modifications on what we continue to do and we will continue to do in the future we think and we feel that the direction we are headed now with it will be uh, is is fine it, it takes time but it's not a class that is easy to balance and we'll continue to make modifications over there